What about workplace and uh, or labor conflict uh, that goes public? Do you have a framework of a plan prepared to deal with that? Well, in February of 2010, I didn't have a plan. I'll start by saying. In February of 2010, after months of conflict uh, over my stance on dealing with police misconduct in our organization, the police union in the department uh, released a non-confidence survey directed at both me and my deputy uh, chief, and they made uh, complaints to the police commission, and they tried to have us fired. Did we know about that in advance? Well, we had a sense of what was coming for at least a, a couple of months in, in advance. But when it hit, did we have a coherent, well-articulated, and communicated plan developed uh, when we had, that we had done while we had time on our side? No, not really. No, we didn't. The response plan was developed really when we were in crisis mode once we had the results of the survey and they had already been released to the media. An organizational turmoil, as you know, it reveals cracks and highlights conflict that otherwise might have remained uh, hidden under the surface. Well, within six months of that happening, the ordinary police officers, as you guys know, who, who are just trying to do a good job, they want to come to work and, and get the work done and go home. Uh, they grew weary of the, uh, the conflict and they started to withdraw support from some of the, uh, some of the ringleaders. Then within a, a year of that, the union executive was replaced with, uh, with moderates and that's by the members themselves, again, who, who grew weary of the conflict. And of course, relations improve after that and, and the scars remain to some degree. So it, if labor conflict is predictable and I, think you would agree that to some degree it is, should we not plan for it? Should we not have those frameworks of plans in place? Let me talk about service delivery problems. In December of 2010, we realized that our vulnerable sector criminal records checks were not being done properly due to a, a procedural error in a work instruction that our staff were using. The database that houses the pardoned sex offender records was not being hit when the queries were being done. So those of you who, who have a background and know what I'm talking about, you're probably shaking your head saying, oh my God, can that spin out of control? Yeah, that can spin out of control. The error was in place and undetected for seven years. Yep, seven years. And we do thousands of checks like your agencies, I suspect, every year. So did that have potentially serious outcomes? Yes, it did, absolutely. And did we have a proactive plan in place